morning and uh, thank you for inviting me here and also uh, i would like to compliment the organizers for for uh, uh, talking about led uh, or, and uh, uh, focusing attention on on uh, this product uh, as far as mnr is concerned we primarily uh, look after renewables but then uh, then with renewables uh, we also have to look at lighting in a very big way uh, especially our solar program is mostly lighting because out of the most basic needs for anyone for energy i think lighting is the most important one lighting cooking i, I think these two are the uh, absolutely primary needs for any uh, individual and therefore for us in mnri lighting does become very important and so far our uh, pro, uh, lighting program has been cfl based uh, our subsidies are also modeled around cfl the uh, the norms which we have are also modeled around cfl so we have not really been able to provide much of a support to led uh, we understand probably uh, last 2 3 years we uh, we been trying to uh, focus on uh, on led but then because our scheme was tailored around cfl so we've not really been able to move forward in this direction now we are in the process of amending our scheme which may take maybe a month or two and uh, the focus will sh will shift on led uh, we uh, understand that the products which we have in the uh, market solar based products uh, for example a simple home light or even uh, uh, lanterns lanterns most of the lanterns have of course shifted to led already uh, even though our subsidies are not very substantial if someone sh uh, shifts to led but home lights have not so far shifted to led but if they shift to led then then the um, total cost of a light goes down drastically probably by 50% and therefore uh it is important for us to tailor our programs to suit led similarly we have a, a large program supporting uh, street lights lot of street lights are getting installed with solar all over the country uh, the numbers are quite huge in terms of lighting our overall target is 20 million uh, lights to be installed so uh, therefore uh, considering this large number it is important that we look at the uh, best sources or or the best uh, uh, lighting devices and therefore uh, we can't ignore led any any longer uh, we uh, did uh, uh, change our uh, benchmark cost and created a separate benchmark cost for led but then because our scheme was not supporting so our subsidy is not supporting that though that benchmark is available so in certain cases we are funding led but uh, but it's not as per the uh, uh, amount the quantum of uh, subsidy which is required so that change should happen in the next two months and then i think the entire focus of our whole uh, solar program would would change it will it will uh, shift to led and it will be a huge market because in any case solar lighting program is in for very big expansion in the near future now this is as far as solar is concerned but even otherwise we have a large program to uh, generate power through uh, solar and then put it to the grid or generate power through solar rooftops and then use within the households for various applications all types of applications now here also if the household switch to led and their total consumption in the house goes down then probably with a rooftop of say 1 kilowatt or maybe 2 kilowatts they can meet all their needs lighting and some fans and and uh, some basic refriger refrigeration small tv so uh, therefore in this uh, complete model which we are planning for a household led will play a very important role so now we are trying to uh, uh, prepare specifications for some standard led based products which we can then promote which we can then uh, provide subsidy for and then promote now we have this large scheme which we which is operating through nabard and uh, uh, we are providing uh, subsidy as well as loan through uh, regional rural banks in rural areas and uh, uh, people can just go and take a loan and then purchase a, a light a solar based light 
so far again this was happening more with the CFL and now that we are just trying to build these new specifications for LED based home systems so I think in that program also that there will be a immediate shift towards LED and then uh, uh, this can probably take off in a very big way in fact in the latest sanction which we have got and which we have given to NABAD we are stating that we have to promote LED and therefore the focus should now shift from CFL to LED. We've been, I uh, uh, understand that we've been a little late, uh, but then uh, in the next two three months, if we are able to do this and then and then expand in a big way, I think we'll be able to catch up. <coughs> uh, we still have to learn quite a lot because uh, our knowledge about LED so far, even in, in MNRE, is limited. Uh, we we do not know how to differentiate between a good LED and a bad LED or what kind of qualities or what kind of specifications to expect, what kind of efficiencies or light to expect. I think this knowledge, though maybe uh, you people are from the industry, so you all know all this, but then generally this knowledge is lacking uh, in the country. Uh, I think a little more publicity is required so that people really start understanding that LED uh, is very good and how to, how to uh, get the right product. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, we look forward to the deliberations here today and uh, uh, from our side we are convinced but then a little bit more understanding and a little, a little bit more knowledge would certainly help. Thank you.